All right, so this is a, uh, I was looking for XMPP clients for Linux because I use conversations on my phone, which has a free app on F-Droid or you can donate on Play Store, you know, and that'll, it'll have like auto updates and stuff. So I just bought it on the Play Store, but um, there is a free version available on F-Droid. It's the same application, but on Linux, I was, uh, I was looking for an application for XMPP and I was kind of surprised that there are aren't too many options so i'm going to quickly open firefox uh, all right so uh, i'm going to pull up this window new window capture firefox there we go all right so um this is the Gentoo page for XMPP. There's only so many options and I was looking for a GUI one. I know I could just use a terminal application, but this was for somebody that has difficulty with terminal applications. So um, for accessibility reasons, I'm using a GUI application. And what I found though was, I kind of wanted to choose between two options because Swift just does way too much. It's for a bunch of different programs. Uh, PSI was one of them I was looking at for Qt because my Kvantum theme would work on it, but I found it didn't look great. It had a really weird icon pack and it, um, it just didn't, uh, I couldn't get notifications working. I don't think I might've been able to do something to get notifications working, but I didn't really in like it very much. And it has like split windows. I'll show you. Uh, let me show you the application. So this is what it looks like. It has two different windows, one for all of your chats. So you can click on them and it'll spawn a window uh, and that window will have the chat in it. But it also didn't support OMEMO encryption, which is something that I do use on some of my chats. So I ended up not going with PSI. Now, the one I did end up going with was um, I actually want to try profanity. It looks pretty cool, but it's basically just IRSSI XMPP. I'm pretty sure. But what I ended up going with was Gajim, Gajim, however the fuck you pronounce that. And, uh, it had 33 packages I had to emerge for all of its dependencies. Some of them, including specific Python stuff, but for the most part, it's a pretty lightweight program. And as you can see on this window, that is what I have going on. So this is the chat I'm in, and it's just a public chat about Linux. Uh, here's all my group chats. Here's another workspace in case you don't want to have all your chats in one, one workspace. You can just move them around. And it will show notifications on Mate. I know that. It's got a little tray icon here, so that's cool. Uh, hopefully... Yeah, that's Gajim. Uh, and it is a free desktop project, it looks like. But if you look here... Uh, I can't choose encryption on this. Uh, anyways, it supports like four different encryption things, including OMEMO. So you'll be able to use it with your conversations. And uh, I doubt I'll be making like an XMPP chat to talk to people because this isn't a super popular channel. But if for whatever reason you wanted to get in touch with me, my name on here is waffles at jabber.fr. And uh, that server is pretty good. I've only had a bit of downtime. So... If you're ever if you're ever on XMPP and you want to use it on Linux, uh, Gadget is a good application. But um, it seems to have all the features I want. It looks pretty clean. It supports your GTK theme, so that's cool. But if you're into terminal stuff, you want to look at IRSSI XMPP or Profanity, probably that would be a cool one. So I might check those out soon too, and. Uh, Oh, sorry. Um, Gadgem isn't a free desktop project. My bad. It's um that was telepathy, uh, telepathy gabble, and of course all of these are available on the Gen Two repositories. But if you're on another distribution, I'm sure they're available somewhere. So um, if you're ever interested, that's XMPP. It's pretty cool. Uh, encrypted. So and it's kind of 
it's a lot faster than Matrix. That's why I started using it because I got sick and tired of having to sync Matrix every time I wanted to talk to somebody. So I set up XMPP as a way to talk to some people that were more privacy focused. And uh, it's pretty cool. You should check it out. And uh, registering for an XMPP address, you actually use the client to register. You don't register on a website, but you pick a home server. Like the first one I used was creep.im, but they were blacklisted by a bunch of uh, chats and servers because of uh, spam. So I switched to jabber.fr. So uh, kind of like Matrix to shop around for whatever server. Conversations.im is the official one for the Conversations app. So if you want to, you can use that. But it loads a lot faster than Matrix. It's a lot uh, It's a lot faster. It still supports encryption, so you get the same privacy. Uh, arguably better privacy than Matrix, because Matrix isn't all that secure when you get down to it. But yeah, still a cool option. Um, check it out. Thanks.